It's a very fitting shot right there. Two guys that are known in their other town. Artiaga now in Tampa Bay. Sebastian Guenzani now with the Indy 11 in year number two. And we are underway in Indianapolis. Thanks for joining us on Wish TV and ESPN Plus. For Tampa Bay, a little bit of travel adversity yesterday as the whole world shut down. Can they turn that into fuel tonight? And then can their wings stretch Indy's back line wide enough to open up bigger channels for Jennings and RTI? Al Jennings speaking that opportunity. For a moment, Hunter Salt was racing towards the ball, then cut off that movement. Able to recover in time. And his pause on another one. Salt has been tremendous. He has been the primary goalkeeper since April 20th for the Indy 11. The 11 have lost one match since that time. Hill sends it in. Stanley squares it away. Munjoma digs in. Ofemu nudges it forward. What? Works his way around and has a break. 3v2 two. Three two here. What? Williams, it's Augie. One touch and an easy opening play for Jordan Falk. Great build up, great strength from Lawrence to fight through that tackle and that jersey pull. Good job not to blow that whistle. Let that play develop and give Indy the opportunity. You're going to have those counter opportunities like we just saw. Perez will send this one in. Another bending ball headed down and Salt able to keep it away. Somehow, some way, kept that ball out. Point blank saves winds up right at Artiaga's feet. He just isn't able to get a piece of it. Williams taken out. That will be a foul and an immediate yellow. Given just to calmly head that ball back to Jordan Farr. Good looking run here inside of the 18. Looking to weave it back, headed and up oh. and over the bar. And that's one that Tampa Bay would most certainly like to have back. In the, 11, the Open Cup semifinals five weeks from now. Great overlapping run from Mafemu. Puts a little bit more stress on the Tampa Bay back line. Leon Gabire will play it sideways. And first 15 minutes were played in the Indy 11 defensive third. Seemingly the last 10 to 15 minutes have been played in the Tampa Bay defensive half. When Zani Lindley oh. wrecks it right at his old teammate in Jordan Farr. Jordan. Bending ball in. Oh. Flip back and hits it. Goal for Tampa Bay to Jennings do it again. Yes, he did. Tampa Bay has the early lead and make that goal number 62 in the illustrious USL championship career of Cal Jennings. Uh, they have been picking on that front spot of the six on every one of their corner kicks. And this time Jennings just is first to the ball, little flick. This is one thing that we got used to when Jordan Farr was in town, his sprint up to congratulate everybody. Guys on the bench. Cal had one year where he was the top goal scorer in all of college soccer. That form has continued into his days as a pro. Bending ball in. O'Brien got there first, but then volleyed. I don't think Salt touched it. No, he did not. It'll be a goal kick coming. Lost to Orange County in a 13-day gap. A draw, 3-3 against Rhode Island. And the 1-1 draw last week to Loud United. Obviously, the win for Indy in that duration came against Atlanta United in open cup play 11 days ago. Jennings the flick. Great touch. Left foot. Uh, Munjoma wide. Looking back post. Dees Pay got there first. Let's see if Hilton has a hit from distance. He does. So sweeps it aside. Martinez gets a boot in. Corner coming, near side corner flag. Again brought to us by Wilson Kehoe Winningham. Was he here with both uh, John Bush and Evan Newton? No, he was here with Newton, not Bush. A beautiful back heel. The blast by Arteaga and Salt is up the challenge yet again. What a strike from Arteaga. The second match in Indy 11 history was against the Tampa Bay Rowdies. A 1-1 draw on April 19th of 2014. Did not see each other in 2017. That's when Tampa Bay made the move to the USL Championship. 
Indy would join in 2018. Bending ball in for Jennings. Jennings finds a sliver of space. Can't get him on the save. But Salt is down. We play on and we will stop right here because of a potential head injury to Hunter Salt. I think with all that space, he was looking to see if he could go over the top of the back line and just wasn't able to deliver it. Perez gives it a hit. Line drive direct immediately at Hunter Salt. Salt trying to launch a counterattack quickly. We mentioned Aiden Quinn's return. We think Jack Blake is not too far away either. Stanley flying forward. Left by Williams, but Jordan Farr read that one. Lawyer provides Chase Farr. Has to distribute to midfield. Neon Gabire is on side. Slides it forward. Artiaga. He's pace load him up just enough. Jennings again. 2v3 here. Artiaga blasts it. Oh, great save. Salt spills it, but nothing comes of it. That's a difficult save to make. A low ball to your right that's driven with good pace. Rivera on low. Rivera, two goals. He has played in 18 matches. But has averaged right at around... Opportunity inside of the 18 here. The left foot. Left foot finds the back of the net, and that just might be what does it tonight. Damian Rivera gets the second goal of the night, his third of the season, and it's now a two-goal deficit for the Indy 11 with 10 minutes and change left to play. This is the second time that Indy has given up more than a goal in a match in the last three months. It is certainly shaping up to be a second loss in that time. It's been a clinic tonight for the visitors. Well played by O'Brien. Martinez, great flick for Collier. Collier, the back heel, knocks it forward for Williams. He is onside. Williams, the oh. Williams. And that's the second time his left has let him down tonight. And back post was open, and you had Collier in Mines stretched at the hands of the Rowdies. It's also worth noting is that said official whistle is going to happen. They've lost in all three chances against the current top three teams in the Eastern Conference. Not the Indy 11th night, it most certainly was.